For over 100 years, the NAACP has been providing the African American community with positive images of success. And tonight at the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame Museum, many long-standing organizations are celebrating a special tradition. It's a special night for us. It's the NAACP Image Awards, and we're actually here in a watch party, kind of celebrating a lot of things, a lot of things in African American history. And it's, of course, it's February, so it's a phenomenal month. We've got a bunch of people in here early to celebrate. We've got 150 people who are RSVP. We're gonna have an exciting time in there and kind of celebrate who we are. This is our third year of doing an Image Award watch party here in Portsmouth, and we are excited to be here to be a part of this community and to celebrate black history here this evening. And our focus is on justice, fairness, and equality. So mainly our mission and our, the events that we do focus around that theme. Uh, so from not only award, uh, events like this, but also uh, addressing issues in the community. Joined together by a common thread, the NAACP Image Awards celebrates the past, present, and future leaders of tomorrow. This is such an exciting event each and every year because it brings together so many members of our community to focus on the positive images in the African American community. This telecast by Cox and TV One allows us all to come together and to celebrate the successes in the arts. Look at all these beautiful shades of people in the audience. Hollywood needs to know that this is what diversity is supposed to look like. Right? I think it's a time for us to celebrate the good work that happens in our community, in the black community. So it's, it's, it's a really important award. I'm glad that we're doing it here today. At Cox, we certainly believe in celebrating diversity and um, African American heritage is really important, not only to African Americans, but to our country. The NAACP and the Urban League are historical partners in trying to break down the barriers to create economic opportunity and equality for all. So pulling the business community together with organizations like the NAACP and the Urban League is a unique and important partnership to be able to move our country forward. Will you part of the Cox Senior team a few of us show up, please stand. The Cox Diversity Council, if you part of that, please stand. NAACP rep, if you're a new NAACP rep, please stand. If you're part of the Urban League, please stand. If you're part of the Congressman Forbes office, please stand. If you're also part of the Naming Organization, please stand. And I'll give all these individuals a round of applause. And with so many Hampton Roads organizations collaborating, it makes for one very special Black History Month kickoff. Well, if you think about what those organizations do, the NAACP and the Urgent League, and the things that they do in the community to make it a better place for us to live and for us to work, and it allows us to kind of partner with them and also give back and focus on education and mentorship and actually literacy, things that we can do that connect to us and our core values in the community. I hope that tonight people commit to the work. That's the main goal for them, to commit to the work, commit to justice, commit to, to equality, because as we've seen throughout this nation last year and this year, certainly we're in a, in a difficult time. And so we need all of us to come together to focus on our future and to focus on making sure that America keeps its promise to make sure that everybody has a fair shot to opportunity and fairness in this country. I think every event like this is an opportunity to showcase that diversity and inclusion is important. We have to be intentional about coming together as a society to demonstrate that we can all work together, we can live together, and we can enjoy the rich rewards that this country has to offer. But it begins with understanding uh, each other's differences and working to heal the wounds of disparity that have existed in this country for far too long. Reporting live in Portsmouth, I'm Stephanie Sutton. Sweet Daisy Queen!